Hello everyone, it's I'm a little fox and welcome back to Bear With Me and we are going to go in <laughs> Whoops go into the uh, bathroom with our flashlight. Flashlight, let's see what's in the back. And this is where I don't know what is going on from now. Too full work. Don't know if that made much sense. I don't know what's going on from this point forward. <laughs> Towels? Fun fact, if you stuff a bunch of them down the toilet and flush, the water will overflow and the repair guy will come to fix it. He will also complain about the economy and how he has to work on Sundays. Where's the money, Lebowski? Uh, trash can? Ooh, use trash can. Trash. It's just my work ethic. Okay, I guess not. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in castle somewhere in France and have that, lots of ponies? That um, you are Amber, like for toads. I knew <laughs> it. I don't know. Did it? Apparently, I did. It's full of uninteresting stuff. Uninteresting stuff. I don't need to know about towels, painting. A painting. Creams. Um, cabinet. It's full of bathroom stuff. It's just one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting about it, really. And I want to. I'm not going through trash. Do it. Go through it. I tell you. What's this? I want that. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Can I go through the trash I'm now? I'm not going through trash. No, but nice try, Mom. No, but nice try, Mom. Um. Yes, exit the bathroom. Wait. Oh. What's Can't happening? Me. What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I I I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's not a problem. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. I couldn't read the first word, but okay. Attic? No. It's still locked. Wait, it's locked. But why? Whoops. Duster. Whoops. What word did it say? It said something. Are you even trying? I am. I can't use that. I'll we'll figure it out. I'll we'll figure it out. Window will happen if you click on Rusty. Nothing. Nothing happens. Oh, I think I have an idea. There should be a. Go back into the study. Use the duster on this. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure, you would. <laughs> Prince room. Case was spinning out of control so fast I had to pull up my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel across the front of the field got a little bit. Hard work comes to people who lost their jobs overnight. 
Low lives. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. Yes, now let's go talk to them. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it. It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> This is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Where is Flint? Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? I have these two tickets. I'm starting a barbershop. I got this official no, letter. I just got an official letter from the studio executives. They've pushed back the deadline. I just wanted to inform him he's not getting drawn or animated for this episode. Oh, it's a tragedy when that happens. <laughs> Those corporate suits, they're always standing in the way of true creativity. Shut up, John John, he's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid, I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. Hmm. Heard about the Red you Man? You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Better cooperate. Well, if you cooperate, maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the west side of town. Carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, and he needs his vitamins and such, see? Ain't that right, John John? Smuggling is such a strong word. That's right, John John. Why are you here? So, why are you here exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. 
I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Why'd you escape the city? Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm what? talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. Okay, I'll get it. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about it? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn. See? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope, for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. Uh, you just get a key. Yep. Pretty close. We'll have to find another way. Pill. Nothing. Nothing. It's gold. It's gold. Let's try to get. Into the room. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not <laughs> going to find him standing here. We should check out the room. What's Maybe that? he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they parents mm, room? totally just found lying on. We should start there then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. Is there a key? I want to take the key. We'll have to find another way. Can you grab it? No. Just knock it off. But mm -hmm. push, push. Well, that was <laughs> getting stuck. So. That's it for now. We'll go into her parents' room next in the next episode. Um, so thanks for watching. Leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe and if you're new. 
If you like the series, definitely leave a like, like I said before. And see you next time. Bye-bye!